In a country marked by natural disasters, disease, conflict and beautiful but extreme terrain, there are signs that the health of Afghanistan's people is improving. Solutions are being found to intractable problems that have plagued the health of Afghans for years. Like delivering health care to people living long distances from hospitals and clinics. Like trying to respond to the chronic shortages of trained health workers, including midwives and nurses. And like overcoming the difficulties of delivering health care during conflict or following a natural disaster. More clearly needs to be done to improve health in humanitarian crises. The World Health Organization coordinates the health response to Afghanistan's humanitarian emergencies, bringing together NGOs, UN agencies, and civil society to help improve the country's health care services. Very often, you know, in Afghanistan, we, we just think about conflict. But in fact, it's much more than that. I mean, as far as humanitarian response is concerned, you have always earthquake, you have landslides, you have uh, floods. We have to, to deal with all this. And I think for somehow we can be prepared to have better response. We ha can be prepared to have better response on conflict but can be prepared to have better response on natural disasters. What does preparedness mean in Afghanistan? It means training more Afghans, especially women, as healthcare workers to treat their own people. It is making sure medicines and other health equipment are available in disaster-prone areas. More importantly, and less visible, is the need to make sure all parts of government and the humanitarian community at large have a plan that lets them work together in times of crisis to respond effectively to emergencies. In terms of how to address those challenges, we need to work very hard. We need to have better forecasting and preparedness. Those forecasting and preparedness should be at the field level, very much at the field level in the provinces as well as at the national level. Progress is already being made in some areas. A package of basic health services is being embraced in more and more parts of the country. Immunization coverage is expanding and diseases are being controlled through a robust surveillance system before they explode into outbreaks. Trained health staff are reaching the most isolated communities by novel means, such as horseback. Women from the remotest villages and towns are being trained as midwives and saving the lives of their own people. But much more is needed if such precious gains are to be protected and fostered. In the area of, the, of humanitarian preparedness and response, WHO's main achievements in Afghanistan over the last year have been the establishment of the health cluster, where the Ministry of Public Health, the World Health Organization, and a large number of partners, especially implementing NGOs, are working together increasingly effectively to be uh, ready and able to respond to crisis. In the area of vaccination, we are able to reach virtually every child of Afghanistan on a regular basis. As war rages in parts of the south and great swathes of the country are vulnerable to natural disasters, better preparedness for dealing with emergency is needed more so than ever before. A little bit goes a long way, especially in Afghanistan. We need to keep building on these hard-won successes so that the country's people receive the health care they deserve.